What's happening people? For the final time, I am here in Bulgaria and today we are flying home to Manchester. It's supposed to be about 28 degrees here in uh, Bulgaria. But one last time, let's have a look out here. It's currently 8 a.m. I fly at 10 past one. Now we do have to navigate the bus back from, uh, from up to Burgas from Sunny Beach. Um, as you know, it's 8 to 11 at exit, but the bus is 8 lev, as you know, on the way here. So we're going to do that. But first, I'm going to go downstairs and get my final breakfast from the hotel. I did stay at the Ivana Palace. Uh, I'm not going to show you too much of that because actually I'm filming the breakfast today for the hotel review. So I'll overlay a little bit of breakfast and then we'll uh, get back up here and I've got to pack all my stuff away and make sure we don't forget anything. I forgot my coat when I went to um, Calatid if we'll stay last year. Um, but yeah, today's video is gonna be the travel vlog from here in Sunny Beach to Burgas Airport. We're gonna have a look around Burgas Airport. Um, never been in there before, like in the departures. Obviously I, I landed there, but you don't see much when you land. And then we'll get on the plane. It's gonna be a nice day, so hopefully we'll get some nice views and all that. And then we'll get back to Manchester. And apparently it's not too bad in Manchester actually today. Until until Monday, we're gonna piss down. But we'll worry about that when we're there. Right now we've got to get some breakfast down me. And we've got to get home. I have I don't know what I can spend. I've got 50. I've got just about 50 lever left. 50 lever left. So I'm not going to be going to a bank or getting any more money. That's going to be enough. So whatever, I'm going to spend it all in the airport. Whatever I've got left when I get to the airport, spend it all. There's no point taking that home because unless I'm coming to Bulgaria again, which is not going to happen anytime soon, it's useless because normally when it's Euros, I'd take it home and then I could use it again. But So we're going to see what I can get in the airport. Obviously, the airport's more expensive, but we will see. Um... The bus, eight lev, so I'll have about, I'll have about 40, 42 lev to spend, 40 lev in the airport. Hopefully get some lunch before I get on the flight. Yeah, and see what's there. Right then, cut to me, packing up this joint after breakfast. In fact, have a little look at my breakfast. I won't show you all, but have a little look at my breakfast. Okay, my final breakfast is done, so now it's time to pack up all my clothes and computers and things and head to the bus station. So I'll do that now and I will catch you guys outside. Not forgotten anything, all packed up. You need this to put your, uh, to put in the in the slot for the electricity, so what I did is I just took the took the key off. <laughs> so I'll put that back on and then we'll go check out. Checking out. 140. Thank you very much. Yeah. Cheers. Okay. That is that. 
bus station now. Hmm, should I get the bus to the bus station? Let's go see. I'll not bore you with the uh, the walk to the bus station or the bus to the bus station. We'll just uh, see what the bus station and see how long we've got to wait for the airport bus. So I did just get the bus from basically outside the hotel, just at the bottom of the road, uh, to the bus station because it's only two lev. I made the mistake of uh, walking on this way when I arrived here. Um, took me about half an hour uh, and I went down the back street actually so the bus station is just here just after La Flor which you've already seen and now we're going to go into the bus station and see how long the airport bus is which is eight left so a total of ten left for bus I just when you got a suitcase and things I just thought it'd be a lot easier to you know jump on a bus so the bus station is just right here as this sign is telling us so let's go see how long got to wait for the airport bus hopefully not too long although it is currently like 10 past 9 20 past 9 and uh, we don't fly till 10 past 1 but it's about a good 45 minute bus ride so three hours <laughs> although you never need three hours in the airport do you right let's get down into this bus station and see how long I've got to wait So we are at bus number 10 and at station 1 which is basically where everybody is in this little bus station so it's not very hard to navigate if I'm honest and hopefully one comes soon, I'll let you know. The one thing I will say about Sunny Beach in particular, obviously I'm not branding all Bulgaria with the same brush um, but the taxis, these yellow taxis, absolute rip off. Um, I filmed the McDonald's vlog last night and I went to the top of Flower Street and it's literally like a 15 minute walk on the road, on a straight road and um, or you can get the bus which I did last night two lev just like this just come here it's two lev all the way to Nessa Bar so it must be a bit like Britain where it's two lev anyway on that one bus um, and the taxi I said how much for a taxi because it was pitch black and like I said it was a bit a, a bit terrifying I'm not, I'll not lie and it's one of 30 lev 30 lev for a 10 minute walk it'd probably be taking him about three minutes up and then as soon as i said nah that's too much i'll walk i didn't know if buses were running um he said 20 lev and i said no that's still too much how much you want to pay and i said i'm not getting in car with you after you're trying to rip me off no chance because i'll get in the car we'll agree at 10 lev and you'll try and get 30 lev out of me anyway airport bus is here now so let's get to the airport Okay, so on all the buses in uh, Bulgaria, you just come and sit down. You don't have to pay like you do at home. They uh, they come to you and then tell you how much it is when you were uh, like a conductor walking up and down. Um, I know this is eight lev from getting here, so let's time it exactly how long it takes. So it's currently 9.18, but we haven't set off yet. So when we set off, I'll come back to you. Okay, we are leaving at 9.30, so let's see what time we get to the airport. Okay, so we've arrived at the airport at 10.25, so it's exact, well, 55 minutes to get here. So, if, you were, if you're coming, 55 minutes travelling time. Um, look at this, we've got like loads of old Bulgarian planes in a war ones and things like that. I'm just going to have a little look up here. Look at this. Put my back there. Check this out.
It's quite interesting, isn't it? Right then, let me get in the airport. And we'll see what's happening in Burgas Airport. My first time. Let's go. It doesn't look very big at all. Um, arrivals is over there and departures is here and this is it. A very, very small airport this, so I have got three hours. I fly at half past one and it's now half past ten. So, and it's out of season. It doesn't look very busy. So maybe I'm going to be a little bit bored, but it's okay. I'll crack the laptop out and do some work as usual. So yeah, that's where we came in over there. Arrivals. And this is departures. And then that is it. Now, I was planning on getting some food just before we fly. And I can see the golden arches in here. After my experience in the last video you guys saw, I'm not up for that. I'm not up for that at all. I do only have 40 lev on me. So that's my limit of spending in this airport. So let's get in and see what the crack is. Get through security and that and have a little wander around. Check in, we don't need to check in. Arrivals. No, that's arrivals. Right, this is so small. Oh, departure gates here, one to eight. I'm blind. Only eight gates. <laughs> right, let's go. Okay, literally security is right here, so I'll put you away because we're not allowed to film in security, security areas. And we'll, uh, yeah, see you on the other side. Okay, so, turns out getting here three hours early is a bit, a bit too early because it's two hours before you can even get through to the departure gate. So they've told me I've got an hour, maybe try again in half an hour. So I've just got to chill out here and I suppose have an hour of sun. I had nothing to check in as well, it's just departure gates to get through to the main bit. Um, but yeah, because it's such a small airport, this is a bit of a nightmare. What is going on? Right, I guess I'm just going to chill on one of these benches. And like, like, uh, like everybody else. <laughs> so I'll see you when, when we get through security. See what time it is. It's 10.35 now. I mean, I've been in worse places. At least it's sunny. If it was Manchester and it were peeing down and you had to be outside, wouldn't want that. But that's where I'm heading, so see you in a minute. So I don't know if that's picking it up on camera, but this air, this like all old Bulgarian airlines and bombers and things like that, there's actually a guy in that bomber now. Uh, and looks like they're doing like little school trips, like must be like a history lesson or something from the school. So. Maybe if you wanted to come, you might be able to book. I'm not 100% sure. I don't have that much time. Uh, I am avoiding the airport prices though, and I'm walking down to the uh, the supermarket around the corner here because I've got an hour to kill. So, and I went in and looked at a bottle of pop, and it was seven live, which is like three quid. So I know that there's a supermarket down here, and it'll be less than half that. So, and I've got an hour to kill. So that's what I'm doing. But yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? If I'd have known that, that you could actually go in, I might have booked. To have a little look around something you guys might do on your uh, on your way back from Berg from Burgas here in Bulgaria right I'm gonna go get a drink and I'll see you back at the airport okay so this place behind me Bira is a proper traditional Bulgarian supermarket the prices in there are ridiculous even compared to Lidl um, that's the airport there that is the airport there this just behind that rent -a car sign there, that is where you get the bus Tuswini Beach where we got on the way here. And the Bil Billa, not Bira, Billa is right there. 
and I've got an hour to kill. So what I did is I walked down here, it took me like five minutes from the airport. Um, in the airport, a little bottle of 500 mil bottle of Fanta, 695 lev, seven, seven lev, seven lev for a bottle of Fanta. In there, I got an ice cream and a bottle of Fanta for three lev. Let's go. The bottle of Fanta is about 70p. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Right, I'm gonna have a little ice cream in the sun while waiting to check in, and I'll see you guys back up there. But yeah, come to Billa when you get off when you get off the aeroplane and before you get on the bus, get some goodies. Well, that were an absolute nightmare. Secure absolute nightmare. It took about 45 minutes for such a small airport and such little people. Absolute disaster that. Right, this is duty free. Smallest duty free in the world. Um, literally nothing here. So look at the airport, you've got your departure gates here. Mackie's behind me, closed. We've got a uh, little fruit station there and sandwiches and then a little coffee shop here, Onda. And a little shop called Hudson over here. And then a little terrace bar over there. Literally nothing in this airport. And God knows how long until my gate. I'm going to go to the Sky Snack Bar anyway, which this is where I'm going. Sit outside and grab a pre-flight pint. No, I'm not, because it's not open. In typical fashion, the outdoor area is open, but the actual bar is not. Well, this is going to be fantastic, isn't it? I'll get a beer from here and sit inside then. Okay, so I'm at gate seven. So let's see if there's anything else. By my gate, because that was one to three. I've just wandered in there, uh, four to five. And there's nothing else in there, just another duty free. I don't know where seven is. I'll find it and then see if there's anything interesting to do there. So it looks like six to eight down here. Actually, it looks like I've got to go through some sort of Passport control here. Of course, Dino, you have to get stamped out into into the out of the country even. We've got United Kingdom, Ireland and Israel. <laughs> I have to get extra uh, boarding control. Not sure there's gonna be anything better in this gate though. You've got Victoria Secret, which is closed. And we've got a little same sort of bar there. Terrace. Wonder if the terrace bar is going to be open. No, this terrace bar is closed as well. Still a lot of people out here though. But the bar's closed. Kids' play area. But the actual bar is closed. So I guess we've got no choice but to go to this place here. Get a get a drink and pay over the odds so I just paid 8 lev 40 for that 1.5 litre bottle of water and I'm currently just sat outside of the terrace and then we'll just board the plane because there's not much else to do very very small airport very small gate um, bumped into a, a subscriber sounded like it was from Scotland I was in the queue to get my water so I didn't get his name or anything but he asked me if I had my, got my one lever back from the uh, fat cat. I didn't. But thanks for subscribing and uh, I'm, I might see you on the plane if you got on the same plane as me. Right. I'll see you on the plane and we'll uh, watch take off and landing and all that and get home. <sighs> Bit of a nightmare airport this. I'm not a big fan. See you on the plane.
Leverage now with us, uh, we're just negotiating with air traffic control, closing the cargo uh, doors as we do have a restriction, but we're hoping to make that. And we'll have you back to uh, the UK as quickly, but obviously, more importantly, as safely as possible. Should take us around about 3 hours and 20 minutes today, and uh, it's not too bad actually. Occasional lumps and bumps on the way here, but uh, actually conditions are relatively pleasant. And likewise, uh, believe it or not, weather in Manchester is not too bad. Temperatures around about 16 degrees Celsius, and even the weekend's looking good. I'll leave you now in the very careful hands of cabin crew, and I'll speak to you again uh, once we're able. I'll give you an update on our routing and arrival time. But for now, I wish you a very pleasant flight. And once again, folks, welcome on board. you might be keen to get up but please stay seated for a bit longer until the seatbelt signs have been turned off and stay buckled up when you're in your seat don't forget smoking and vaping are not allowed in any part of the plane including the toilets and be careful when opening overhead lockers as things might have moved around it won't be long until we deliver you our famously friendly in-flight service if you've pre-ordered a hot meal we'll serve you first in the meantime, take a look at the tasty treats in our menu. We've got loads on offer, so see what takes your fancy, and we'll be with you soon. Enjoy the weekend, I do have to say, on the chair.
Please stay seated with your seatbelt password. Thank you. Welcome back to Manchester. Now we've landed, you must stay seated and buckled up until the seatbelt sign is turned off. When you do get up to go, please make sure you've got everything with you. Take care when you open the overhead lockers as some things may have moved during the flight. Just so you know, you're not allowed to smoke or vape on the way to the terminal or in the terminal itself. <laughs> Thank you very much. So that was a nice smooth flight, I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, apparently there's a, lots of building work going on at Manchester Airport, so it's now 570 metres walk just to get to immigration. So I'll get through that and I'll see you outside the front. It's not bad weather here in Manchester. Probably be different by the time you guys are watching this, as this is the last video from my trip. Bit tired, I'll be honest. Travel days are always hard, but we got there in the end. Okay, that was my flight from Burgas in Bulgaria to here in Manchester. Now, I'll be honest, it's a little bit nippy, but at least it's not raining. So, hopefully that this weather continues here and I don't have to jump on an aeroplane again. But for now, that's going to be the end of the video because I'm heading to the train station. 
I need to get the train from here back to Huddersfield and I've only just realised I haven't booked a ticket yet. So, I need to get a wiggle on with that and hopefully it's not going to cost me an arm and a leg. Thank you for watching this video. That is it from Bulgaria. Thank you for everybody who supported the channel in Bulgaria and everything. All the comments, all the likes, all the subscribes, everything. I really, really, really appreciate it. And... Train stations in Terminal 2. Okay. We're going back in now. In an hour. Yeah, like I was saying out there, a bit noisy. I'm not sure how that came about. But thank you everyone for all the support on the Bulgaria channel. Uh, Bulgaria uh, holiday. And... Uh, we'll do another one again soon. I'm guessing we've got to go in lift. <laughs> to the train station, yeah? Yeah. I'm not sure what um, what you got of that because Manchester Airport currently is an absolute maze with all the work that's being done. So we have to come out and in and out and in and up and using a lift and all just to get to the train station. But I just want to reiterate thank you to everyone who has commented, liked, subscribed to the channel in this Bulgaria trip. It really does mean a lot. Um, I'm going to have to end this one here because I haven't got a train ticket <laughs> and I'm about to get to the train station so and I need to get home to my girls which I've been looking forward to catch you on the next one and we'll be more local than Bulgaria anyway let's put it that way thanks bye bye